And so something special is happening. Uh, Timberland, you know, or as, as we affectionately like to call them on the on the eastern side of, of, of the country. Tim's, you know, there's going to be some notorious B.I.G. Tim's. Have they been released yet? They have been released. Um, cause they're available for sale now. Um, but Timbaland is collabing with, with Biggie's estate um, to give you the Christopher Wallace collection. Holler. And it's to honor the 30th anniversary of his debut album, Ready to Die. Love it. So um, it says that the new collaboration features the iconic, this is actually uh, a press release from the Timberland Company. Um, it says that the new collaboration features the iconic six inch boot in two unique styles, representing the significance of Biggie's impact through the blend of music, fashion, and culture. Um, and just to let you know, Oh, and they also say he's known for his icon iconic street style. Biggie popularized Timbaland boots as a staple of urban fashion, particularly within the hip hop community. His choice to wear and rap about Timbaland, both in music videos and everyday life, cemented the brand's association with authenticity, culture, and resilience. Biggie's cultural impact is still felt today as Timberland boots remain an iconic symbol of the era and continue to be celebrated in fashion and music circles. I think that's so cool that they that they they wrote that like it's a love letter to him almost like like almost like a a thank you for you know putting us on the map. Yeah, I dig that. I dig that. Um, but, it's, but it's not true. Okay. Well. <laughs> I okay. I just want to talk about the design real quick. <laughs> Introduced in wheat and black colorways, the collection includes our original Timberland boots with detailed elements that incorporate iconic visuals and lyrics from "Ready to Die" onto the Timberland sign design, mirroring the original artwork from the album cover, the shoe tongue, and battle wink. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Pay pay homage to one of the most recognizable album covers in hip hop history. The boots also include a second gold toned. What what is that? What is that word? You got it in front of you. I don't know. It looks like Badu to me. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to make Erica Badu part of everything. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Bottle ink with a crown design inspired by Biggie being coined as King of NYC. Incorporated is an aux tip as the aglets of the, the laces symbolizing the direct personal experience of listening to music on devices like portable audio players and CD players tapping into the nostalgia of Biggie's reign in hip hop. Biggie's name is also laser etched in the heel of the soul and embossed in the collar, representative of how he has cemented his name in hip hop, Timberland history, and continues to inspire the next generation of icons. I think this is super cool. I would like to see the I would like to see the Tims in person. I will not be purchasing them. They're too rich for my blood. But <laughs> I will. Um, I don't see the bottom thing. Badoink. Where was that at? What paragraph? Badoink. What paragraph? Uh. Ooh. From the Rolling Stones article, right? No, I'm reading this directly off of the Timberland website. Oh shit! All right, hold on. See, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. What you sent me was from Rolling Stone. Oh yeah, I figured this. This was probably more accurate than anything else because this was the press, press release from them. Well, then I can't tell you because I don't have that in front of me. Oh, but, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it's fine. Um, I just want to say, is Biggie who popularized wearing Tim's? 
I can't. That I can't answer. I, I don't just, know. I just wasn't Wu Tang and Nas and everyone from the '90s wearing Tims in their videos. Um, am I am I wrong here? I don't think you're wrong, but I don't know what came first. I I I honestly, because I was gonna ask you when you said what you said. I was gonna ask you, is that? I mean, I feel like that there was cats wearing Tims in their videos before Biggie. Um, but all right. Yeah, I don't know. I just maybe oh they feel that Biggie had a wider mainstream appeal, and that's why. I put in the word, and it pulled up VR porn videos. <laughs> Glad I'm not using my work computer. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. I don't know. Send me the article. Yeah. I don't know. I All think. Right. Well, this is. I, I think I'm too. I think I'm too too. Young. Young? I think I was too young. We were too young to know. I don't think we would know that. I think we'd have to find out. Like we'd have it says, to do it. It says Badoink. It says Badoink. B A D O I N K. Right. But then when you put in Badoink on the what is uh <laughs> on Reddit, it said, someone said, I think it's a porno website. And I'm when I'm browsing porno subreddits with my iPad, it does about five redirects. <laughs> yep. Okay. But doink is when the raised satchels are used in a baba motion and making clean one tap noise as doink once you land in once you land or even in the air that's from urban dictionary okay i found it because timbaland says what it is the souls are made the, the dual branded hang, hang tag okay there it is referred to as the bedoink well there you have it folks you didn't even know you was getting a lesson on tim's today and Come here for the latest, <laughs> the greatest, and the shameless of the entertainment industry. And who knows what else you're going to get? Who knows? But doink, our term of the week. And this ain't even a podcast that does term of the week. I know. Look at that. Look at us branching out. Look at us borrowing right. from sexual intellectual. <laughs> right. All right. Let's talk about the Tims. New episode all... out now. Yes, I finally put out another episode of the Sexual Intellectual Podcast the other day. Thank you. Yes. This is true. Okay. Available available only on YouTube because I have been a lazy bastard and I have not put the audio up on all platforms yet. Perhaps I will do that today. Yeah, that is so real though. Okay, we can't we can't bear off. But not, like, not for today. Life in times of a podcaster, sometimes all you get is a YouTube video. Sorry. It's just sometimes you gotta wait for the audio. Subscribe. It's <laughs> just right. <laughs> please, please come back next week or whenever I come back. Like, that's just some real podcaster shit. Sometimes all you're going to get is one way <laughs> and you got to be okay oh, with that. That's facts. But anyway, yeah. back to the Biggie right. Timberlands. The Christopher Wallace collection is a cool idea. Uh, I looked at the pictures of the Tims. They're just Tims. There's nothing yeah. really special about these Tims. But if it's going to help with Timberland sales, if it's going to help the Biggie estate make some cash, if it's going to help celebrate the 30th anniversary of Biggie's iconic album, I'm all for it. Oh, I mean, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think, um... Are you searching up another Bedoink? Well, I think that who first wore Tim's in hip-hop? Not going to get a straight-up answer. Gemini and has I... listed a few rappers. Gemini first lists Biggie Smalls at the top. Then Nas, Tupac, Cameron, and Mob Deep. Okay. 
I don't see Wu Tang on there. Okay. I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. Congratulations to Timberland and the Biggie Estate. I'm sure this will be a great uh, source of income, and uh, I'm sure people will run out there and get them. Um, it is a cool thing if you're a collector as well. Right, I agree with that. Okay, Ad Week, who's maybe <laughs> a little bit more credible than Gemini, <laughs> and then I'm done. <laughs> but according to Ad Week, Biggie, Nas, and DMX. All right. Can we move on? Please, can we move on? Please. I'm about, <laughs> to burst, I'm about to burst a blood vessel over here. Okay. You is the next one. <laughs> me? No, not me. I'm not the next topic. Oh, I'm the next person to put Tim's no. in videos? You're a fool. No, not me. Not me. But anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was going to start talking about how Tim's used to hurt my feet. But anyway, let's <laughs> please. It's a very. I think. I think the bottom line is what they the, did not. The say. bottom line is men are out here wearing six-inch boots, and they're not talking about the six-inch heels they wear all the time. No, I'm just kidding. The bottom line is, I, Timberlands are very popular and very cultural re- relevant when you are talking about New York City. Yeah. So I think that you probably be hard hard pressed to not find a New York City rapper who did not wear Tim's. I think I think it's safe to say that all, if not most, wore Tim's in some way, shape or form. It was just also cool to do it when they were first coming up. So that it just is what it is. Yes. Anyway, they are a very sure. they are a very big part of a certain part of the culture certain time of the culture is what I mean by part. In the 90s, Tim's were everywhere. Today, maybe not so much, but in the 90s, early 2000s, everyone was wearing Tim's in their videos. Yes, predominantly people from the East Coast slash New York rappers. When I was, last thing I'll say, when I was in college and winter came, that was how you knew who was from New York. Yep. You knew, you knew the people from... Um, Baltimore, we're going to be wearing ACGs. Like, it was, there was, there were certain things, there were certain tells, and footwear was one of them, where that was just a, that was, I, I too had my, t- <laughs> had my tips, and that's yeah. how, people would be like, oh, you from Brooklyn? Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> you all sound like yeah. you're from Brooklyn. No, I am. Piss me off. Right. Anyway, anyway, 